Happy Wednesday. We're getting today going again with breakfast, obviously. Got some toast going, got our loose leaf tea, super healthy, and our cage free eggs. Always gotta go cage free. Abby is working on the girl's hair again. She got one of, one of them done. I uh, can't really see them. We're not allowed to show our foster girls on film just for their safety. So that's why you never see them. Um, we got two girls we take care of and Abby's gonna take them to the early learning center and she's going to work. I am going to work next. Um, yeah, you'll just see a little bit of my life today. Um, I should be getting a package in the mail so we'll be looking at something tonight. I don't remember what it is with the tracking number. I don't, I just don't remember, but I have the tracking number and it's coming. So um, yeah, we'll definitely look at something. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So I'm gonna get this stuff ready. Abby's gonna be heading out the door, and I'll be heading to work. And uh, I'll keep you posted on little things here and there. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Hype beast lifestyle, make Jesus famous, all that stuff. Supreme fire tea, you know. <laughs> Anyways, love y'all. So me and the girls had eggs, but Abby made this mix. What is it? It is chia pudding with almond butter and almonds and honey. Raspberries, bananas, coconut flakes. <laughs> a lot of good stuff. Just a mix of a bunch of bunch of healthy stuff. Yeah, it's good. And it turns into what? Yogurt? Is that what it is? No, the chia seed you rest them overnight and they turn into like kind of like a pudding sort oh. of texture. Oh, it's like a pudding. Uh -huh. Wow, so you thought this through. This is from yesterday too. It is. I planned ahead. Been planning that breakfast. I just throw eggs out of the fridge and on the pan. I'm kind of tired of eggs, babe. Yeah, sorry. We eat them a lot. <laughs> like, every day. <laughs> We're about ready to go. Girls are fed. Now I just gotta get their shoes on, but not. So, that's what's next. We'll do that. Alright, so I just got that notification that I got a package at FedEx, I'm gonna go pick it up. I had like no clue it was coming really, but I, I seriously don't know what it is. We're gonna go and uh, we'll find out, but we got it over there. Woo! Anyways, today there have been just tons of contractors here at the old building that we're at because the people who are buying our current facility have to like <sighs> get everything figured out for like remodel and all this stuff that has to be done to make it work for what they want it to be used for um so have not really filmed anything today just been helping answer questions and um yeah getting ready for tonight's service because i've got the kids bible study going on tonight um but yeah so i'm gonna go pick up this package and then we'll head home so today it's a little bit colder and the four-wheel drive doesn't want to kick in. I still got two-wheel drive going. Look at this. I'm not even this is not safe. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness, no this is not gonna uh, get in before it tries to take off or something. Yes, four-wheel drive is so nice when it's super icy out. All right, now we're going. pick this up and we'll go and we got it package has been acquired so let's go home
Hey, so I came home and I had this package waiting for me. This is from the New York, New York zip code 10002, which I know already is Supreme, so I thought I'd open up this one first instead of another one I picked up today, and then we'll open that other one tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I just, I really want to get into this, so I'm going to do that. Don't need that thing. Let's go ahead and break this open. If I can, <laughs> just getting like little pieces of it. This waterproof bag, like, these things are kind of tough to get started, but once they get started, you're good. You're golden. All right, so first off, looks like they are giving Supreme bags again. Yes. Um, towards the end of last season, the fall, winter 17 season, they weren't giving away bags for some reason. They were just like, we're keeping them out of everything. And I was like, what is going on? So, first off, got the Supreme bag, right? Then next, we got a goodie bag. They've got a brand new goodie bag thing going on. Yeah, they sealed this. <laughs> this goodie bag is sealed. Um, it has the poppy seeds in there, like I've had before. I've got two sets of poppy seeds now and got a bunch of supreme stickers already i'm trying to make them able for you guys to see but oh man should i just should i just tear into it let's just do that let's break open this little <laughs> bag <laughs> uh yeah i'm not too worried about it okay poppy seeds and one supreme sticker with the Supreme Necklace in focus like crazy, and then the lips are totally blurred like crazy. Like, super blurry, super crisp. Kind of a cool sticker, sort of. Oh, and the next one is just these little tiny, it's like a, a four pack, little tiny four pack here. Little, little button stickers, and they're a little bit violent, so, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with those. Then you got the Supreme. Oh man, look at that crease there. This is like a beat up sticker, kinda. I mean, not really, but it's got a fold on it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, let's get out the final item. Um, this Supreme Drop, I did only get one item because the other stuff I was going after, this is week two, um, anything else just sold out too quick. So I did get this one, this is the one I wanted, and it's in the Ziploc. They do this Ziploc for some of their Supreme stuff. It's basically the same exact bag as the Oxford shirt came in. I've got this one already. That has like those little hearts with the fire and the knife through it. Whatever. That's a cool shirt. I'm still just leaving that one on ice. Um, I might wear it in the future. Who knows? This new one though here, this is from the week two of the Supreme Drop. And I'll just show you guys a little bit of the label so you guys can kind of see. So you got the Supreme, like I showed you earlier. And then it's a pretty thick plastic, actually. It's pretty nice plastic. There's that little tiny label there for anybody who wants to see that. Maybe I'll zoom in on it here for you. So you can see a little better. There you go. And then just like some avoid damage bags, not a toy. All that kind of fun stuff. And then the Ziploc at to the top. And... It's a pretty nice Ziploc. I mean, yeah, it seems pretty strong even though it wasn't zipped when I got it. Um, and here is the shirt. It has actually a really glossy text here. This is really glossy. Um, and they always put like this little bit of paper in here. So now you know it's not dead stock since I took out that paper, right? That's kind of how they fold it. I don't know. Looks like they just kind of fold the sleeves down and then fold it over once. If anybody cares. And this is uh, kind of thick for a t-shirt, but it's really thin for a sweater. So it's kind of like an in-between weather sweater. <laughs> in-between weather sweater, in-between weather sweater, in-between weather... Wow. I'm so bad. I don't even know how I did that. Uh, yeah, so it's got the Supreme on there like a hundred times. Well, five times. And then they've got their little tiny Supreme large uh, tag on the outside. This is an outside tag. Here, let me zoom in for you. So that's what it looks like. And 
Oh, the Supreme tag here. It's a little bit different than some of the other Supreme tags. It even looks like it's a different red than some of the other ones have been. So that's what that one looks like there. And let me go ahead and uh, throw this on. You guys can see how it looks. I think this black Supreme Fire Tee is a little bit big to wear underneath this one, even though they're both large. Supreme in their largest. Oh, man. Don't get me started. All right, here it is. Definitely fits like the best large in the entire world for me. This is like the perfect large. Um, and the sleeves, you know, they're long enough for me. I just kind of deal with it being a little bit short when I stretch my arms out. Come on, I've got really long arms. Last name is long, like, it's just long. It's just how it is around here. Um, but yeah, this definitely fits nice. I want to wear it a bunch of times so that <laughs> this fold comes out of here because that's kind of annoying to be right on the M. Like, whatever. I'll just have to deal with that. And then this little patch here is really cool looking down there. Just kind of a nice little highlight, a nice little touch. And so there it is, nothing on the back. Just a little bit thicker than a t-shirt, but definitely not like a thick sweater or anything. It's, it's a very thin, thin sweater. And it was like a little bit cheaper than their regular sweaters too, so I can see why. You know, you can't expect a thick sweater if you're not paying 160 bucks with Supreme. It seems like um, that's kind of their threshold or their lowest price for nice sweaters is like right around 150. If it's less than that, then it's pretty much gonna be a thinner material. So uh, that's kind of what you can expect, but cool deal. I am kind of stocking up on some new stickers with this new drop. I don't know where my other red stickers are. Oh, here's another one on the floor. So we're starting a new collection of stickers for this season. If you guys want to see my some of my Supreme stickers, just uh, drop me a comment and I can do it real quick in a video or I'll just randomly do it when I decide to. But anyways, people, we're going to get into the Bible. This is a controversial part of my channel. It's why I call myself Jesus Taco because I like to talk about Jesus. It's just part of me. It's who I am. We're all different. Like we're all different people and we all have different personalities and you don't have to be just like me. I don't have to be like you. Like we can all live our own lives, but I'm going to get into the Bible because it's something that I really believe in. I'm in the book of John chapter 7. I want to read to you guys a passage in verses 25 through 29. So hold tight. Let's go ahead and read it. Some of the people who lived in Jerusalem started to ask each other questions. Isn't this the man they are trying to kill? They're talking about Jesus. But here he is speaking in public and they say nothing to him. Could our leaders possibly believe that he is the Messiah? But how could he be? For we know where this man comes from. When the Messiah comes, he will simply appear no one will know where he comes from. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he called out, Yes, you know me, and you know where I come from, but I'm not here on my own. The one who sent me is true, and you don't know him, but I know him because I come from him, and he sent me to you. So I just wanted to stop there. There's a lot more to this chapter, but I just wanted to read those a uh, few verses because they really spoke to me in that we can expect Jesus to be a certain way. We can expect that Jesus has to be this specific way because it sounds right to us and it makes sense to us and it just looks right in our version of how the world works. But everybody sees the world differently. Everybody perceives the world through uh, their own lens, kind of. That's a uh, guy, Ronnie Dawes, he taught me that and I just kind of have always thought about that, about seeing the world with your own lens. Like everybody is wearing their own glasses that they have cultivated, that they have created over time and they have morphed and their glasses have changed because of the experiences that each person has gone through. So now every person looks at the world through the glasses that they have created with their past experiences and they can only see the world through those glasses and they don't even know that they're wearing them. They think that everybody sees the world exactly the same and nobody has these glasses. And once we realize that we all have lenses, we all have experiences in the past that make us see the world the way that we want to see it at the time, once we can take away those lenses, we can take away this, this thing that keeps us in this mindset that we're in, once we can take those off, we can get them out of here. That's when we can actually be open-minded enough to understand the things of God and really learn at a deeper level some truths of this world. I think it's something that some people never realize their entire life. They just go their whole life 
seeing life through a lens. Maybe you know some elderly people who see life through a certain lens and they would never see certain things a different way. Like, even though times have changed, they still view old things a certain way and there's just no change in their mind. And that's just how it is for some people. Some people, like, they're so stuck with their lenses and looking at life through the way that they've learned to look at it that they're not willing to change it. And this keeps a lot of people in a poverty mentality where they don't think that they can have money or they just think that it's, like, unattainable or it's, like, for only special people or something. Like, they're not lucky enough to be able to be wealthy. It'll keep some people sick. Like, some people are just in the mindset that they're always sick. They're always going to be battling something. And uh, those mental things, you know, they will create sicknesses. Uh, there's a lot of doctors who say that sickness is 90% mental. And it's different for everybody, I'm sure, because we're all created different. Um, and we're all, we're all crafted specially by God. But I just want to tell you guys right now, let's remove our lenses. Let's take ours off. Let's realize that we're looking at the world through a specific lens that we've created and try and see the world maybe different. Like try and look at it from an open perspective. I know that might be tough, but let's give it a try. I've been trying to do that, um, for these last few months. It's really helped me to not be judging others as much as I used to, because I used to be really judging and I used to like not like certain people and think there's no hope for certain people, but it has totally opened up my eyes and it has totally changed the way that I view God's love even. Like, <laughs> he loves everybody just the way they are and it is so much good out there. If we'll just open our eyes and not see things the way that, you know, we've been trained to see them, which can be negative at times. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for keeping up with me. Thanks so much for chilling with me. I love y'all. You guys rock, especially you watch until the end of the video. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go hang out with the kids tonight. We're doing a little Bible study. And so that's what I'll be doing for this evening. So peace out, people.